last video we share with y'all that you only need a little bit of money to actually be prepared for a full year in fact we show you all that with less than a thousand dollars one can be prepared for an entire year obviously it's not going to be the most glamorous things obviously obviously it's just the bare minimum you know but those are things that we wish we had when i was in cuba to be honest now i did receive a few comments that I, would, I should have included their uh, medical supplies. And the reason that I didn't include medical supplies is because we didn't use them in Cuba. So I base everything based on life experience, meaning that for 16 years, I didn't know what a bandage was. I didn't know what a triple antibiotic was. I, I just didn't know what a tourniquet was. In fact, if somebody got a huge cut, you either apply pressure and wait for it to cut uh, to stop bleeding or you get your belt and cinch it that's what we did honestly if you get a scratch let's be honest we wash it as best as we could and uh we sometimes get a you know a piece of cloth and just tie it together as tight as possible uh if we have honey we rub honey on it that you know that's something that we did uh, mainly not because of antibacterial no it was mainly because we didn't want it to scar so we did different things when we got sick um we we took tonics uh that grandma made for us you know based on, on plants medicinal plants and whatnot we have medicinal plants in our yard that's what we did so that's why i did not include medical in that in that thousand dollar video that i posted now today's video i want to um i want to you know just shake a, a, a few people up and um you know because I, obviously i got the, the usual comment, that would be great if you have a thousand dollars, then you can prepare for a year. And that usually, you know, grinds me a bit because first of all, it was less than a thousand dollars. It was really less than a thousand dollars. And uh, that's for an entire year. And, and second, there are so many ways that you can make a buck nowadays that is without even leaving the comfort of your home that people just don't look at him you know just um think about it for an example you you can do transcripts uh you can learn how to do quickbooks uh you can do youtube videos uh you, you know tiktok videos whatever it is there is so many things up there that you can make a book that quite honestly i don't accept that as an excuse and now i always heard the same thing or oh, the same excuse as, well, I'm in a fixed income. That's just because you want to. Again, you can make a buck. Now, I know somebody's going to get upset and is going to go in the comment section and be like, oh, you just don't know what you're talking about. Listen, guys, I'm disabled too. I just refuse to feel disabled. That I'm just going to come on and say it. I just refuse. To me, and I have a physical disability. But to me, is how much you want to push forward. That's all. We have in this community people who are disabled in wheelchairs and they still prepare. So those excuses, quite frankly, will not save you when the shit hit the fan. When the shit hit the fan, if you are not prepared or you're in your journey to be as prepared as possible, all of those excuses that you put in there just because you were overweight, because you didn't take care of your health, because uh, you feel that you couldn't do the job, because uh, I'm in a fixed income, uh, because I'm 110 years old, uh, because whatever excuse it is, it ain't going to save you. All of those are excuses. And um, as they used to say back in Cuba, go cry somewhere else or go cry where the babies are being born. There is no room to cry in then. Honestly. And, and, I, and I know I'm coming a little harsh. But let's be honest. September is the month of preparedness. Of preparedness awareness. Whatever they want to call it. And every time that I hear excuses. It just infuriates me. To tell you the truth. It really does. I don't care if you come and say. I am prepare, preparing as, as best as I can with the limited resources that I have, but I am doing it. Rock on. Rock on. I will say that to you all day long.
But the moment that you start excusing your bad behavior, well, you only going to damage yourself. You only going to put yourself in a bad situation. That's just on you, honestly. And again, excuses will not save you when an SHTF happens. And it will happen. So why not forget about all of those excuses and be like of the mindset of, I can do this. Not of the mindset of, I cannot do this. No, yes, you can. Yes, you most certainly can. Trust me, you can. If you put your mind and will to it, you can. You can prepare as best as your ability. I'm not asking anybody to do anything beyond their ability. If you, all you need is the rice, the beans, the, the oil, and the salt, dude, you're fine. you golden. You will make it. Because now you have a full year. A full year you have in front of you of resources, then guess what? Now you have a full year to plan what your next step is. But if you don't have none of that, well, you ain't got shit to cushion that blow. And that right there, well, let me just put it like this. You will be in a, in a world hurting, plain and simple. So nonetheless, September is a month of preparedness awareness. Be aware that excuses will not save you in an SHTF. And why are you not prepared? Well, let me know down in the comment section below because it's beyond me at this point. With that being said, I hope you have a great one. Like I was rock on, prep on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.